In 1932, W.B. Perkins wrote Life Begins at 40. Since life expectancy had increased from age 40, which it had been in 1882, to then age 60. This number one best-selling self-help essay was focused on the theme an individual could plan on enjoying many more years of life that were satisfying and joyful after one turned 40. This would only happen, though, if the person kept the correct, positive outlook. I would also like to add keeping good health and not making a living with mukbang content on YouTube with unmanaged type 2 diabetes mellitus would be a new chapter Chantel could add to that essay. The notion that foodie beauty Chantel Marie could have the correct positive attitude is something she has certainly struggled with lately. Anyone who watched her recent rage streams now removed from public view such as rainy Ramadan 2024 and Muslim revert problems, late iftar bees and bring me to life could see her content had problems. With foodie beauty having now turned 40, there has been zero new content or live streams to celebrate this new stage of her life. So why has foodie beauty gone missing? What could be the possible reasons why Chantel is MIA? Let's go over seven theories why Foodie's channel is lights out. Theory number one, the channel is suspended for seven days and she is deleting her rage content to save it. Chantel has had people report her channel for its recent content raging against her haters, reaction channels and entire religious communities. One such community is one that only last year she took vows to join. She has insulted and belittled the physical looks of other content creators and spent hours of her audience's time drama dumping on them about her problems with others. Foodie is known to create drama at the end of the month to increase her views and make more money for her channel. This time though is a little different. She has removed community posts where she apologized for her ranting behaviors. Also, she has not made any content during one of the most profitable times of the year for her channel, her birthday week. With YouTube potentially reviewing her channel, is this what has led to some live streams being removed or possibly put to private on her channel? Making it even more interesting is her lack of presence on any other forms of social media during this time. Is it for the drama and clicks in the future? Or is there something going on with YouTube? Chantel has struck several other channels for thumbnails using her content. And there are questions about how she reached 100k subscribers. Other things are changing about Foodie's channel, like its name and banner twice. Theory number two, Foodie finally left on her visa run and it's no one's business. Chantel returned to Kuwait from Canada approximately three months ago, and everyone is aware she is not on a marriage visa, but a tourist visa. She can deny it, but she religiously lies to her audience and leaves Kuwait every three months since her arrival. It is time for Foodie to make another run. But is she just making a quick hop over the border to Saudi Arabia? Or has she headed home to Canada to celebrate her birthday with her family? There have been crickets on the family media pages wishing her a happy 40th, and even Pete's has not given hints to Chantel's whereabouts. Theory number three, it was a medical emergency. Diabetes type two got her again. Foodie has documented her struggles with her health, especially her uncontrolled and unmanaged type two diabetes mellitus. She has demonstrated a lack of care about it, and often gives her followers false information about how she is seeing providers in Kuwait. Most recently, she finally confessed to her audience she never got an official diagnosis of sciatica and just guessed that was the problem with her leg after she checked her symptoms on Google. 
Chantelle spent months telling herself she would become bedbound, as she has hobbled and wobbled her way in the little bit of walking she shows in her vlogs. Not only are there questions about Chantelle lying about her weight, 370 pounds my horse, she has mentioned she ran out of diabetic test strips and often has blood sugars in the mid-200 range. Foodie has a long list of medical issues and has no physical, dental or optical care. A big no-no for type 2 diabetics. Since she arrived in Kuwait, she has gained a significant amount of weight and is less and less active. Her continuous need to consume huge amounts of unhealthy takeout and the purchasing of juices and candies will only increase her chance of having a medical event. Has this finally happened to Chantel? And was there a medical event that has taken her away from her channel? She has looked very swollen recently in her hands and face, despite the use of numerous filters, and complained rigorously of leg pain she is not managing. Theory number four, Chantel is launching a new brand to invigorate her dying channel. Foodie has been receiving a lot of questions from her subscribers about improving the content she delivers. Her channel members have asked her to show more cooking, travel and vlogs with interesting content. Also, they want members only live streams and more benefits to membership other than just beezing with Chantel. Has Chantel finally decided to listen to her audience and make the necessary changes to improve her views and reinvigorate the channel? Everyday Miriam was her previous channel name and the name on her 100k plaque. She changed it last time she raged at her audience or something like that. Now she is back to Foodie Beauty with her handle at Foodie the Beauty. She twice changed her YouTube banner in one day and removed all evidence that she was a Canadian Muslim revert living in Kuwait. Now her banner focuses on a long list of content including vlogs, food, plus size life, live stream, beezing and more. Foodie removed mukbangs, Madonna covers and hill rolling for some unknown reason. Does this indicate an old but new direction for her channel? Or is it just Chantel cleaning up the mess she has created that might cost her the channel? Or does she just want to have Foodie Beauty on her replacement plaque since the last one was dented? Theory number five, Foodie and Salau have split and she will now need to return to Canada. There is a rumor that the changes in the channel banner and Chantel's absence are because she and Salau have had a huge argument and split up. Numerous theories have been given as to why they have finally met Splitsville. The biggest is she slipped up and gave information in now deleted content that Salau did not have a job. Since Salau is Syrian by birth, he needs to maintain employment to keep his residency in Kuwait. Now Foodie has possibly revealed the truth about his job status. And since she is also not earning as much with her content, it is causing an even worse rift between the two. Chantel's banner photo has no ring on her finger and it may have been photoshopped out. Has the concern for Chantel's health and the number of takeouts she consumes pushed Salau to finally leave her? The couple's channel is long dead and since she has returned to Kuwait, she seems to spend more time in the fart box paradise alone than with her husband. Foodie is also seemingly not able to bring Salau to Canada, a goal most believe he had. Has Foodie now decided to return to Canada? Alone and get Natter back instead? Who knows? Theory number six. Chantel is being taken on a whirlwind romantic 40th birthday surprise vacation. Girl works hard and she earned it. This theory is here for fun. As anyone can tell, there is zero chemistry between Foodie and Salau. And she has recently complained she is too broke to travel. Plus, Salau supposedly doesn't have a job, as Chantel confirmed. So, who exactly is paying? A visa run is generally not considered a romantic birthday celebration. 
With that said, I think we can throw this theory out. Theory number seven. Foodie is preparing her response to Mr. Snowflake, who released his documentary, The Shattered Reality of Foodie Beauty, Episode 2. This happened to coincide with her 40th birthday, March 28th. Chantel, for the first time, must not be doing anything in haste. There has been no rage post, rage stream, or any content released on any social media platform to give us an insight into what Chantel is thinking post-documentary. We all know that Foodie is watching everyone and everything and wanting to monetize from this time. Foodie Beauty has missed out on making money from raging about Mr. Cardigan and she has certainly not made money from her 40th birthday celebrations. It must infuriate her that reaction channels and documentary makers like Mr. Snowflake have been bringing views to their channels in her absence. In fact, her absence is helping channels gain more views by speculating on her whereabouts, like this video. One thing is true. If and when Chantel returns to YouTube as Foodie Beauty, we will not get the truth about what she has been doing because the first rule about her is that she always lies. This is Ray with Life and Vibe and if you enjoyed this video, leave me a birthday cake in the comments to help celebrate Foodie's 40th birthday. Make sure to like it and if you've not had a chance to subscribe to the channel, follow the link to do so.